In this video, we'll explore the walk on the north shore of Sydney Harbour from Taronga Zoo to Middlehead. The best way to start this walk is to catch a ferry from Circular Quay to Taronga Zoo Wharf. The ferry will take us past the Sydney Opera House and then past the old convict prison island called Fort Denison. After alighting at Taronga Zoo Wharf, a few short steps takes us to the bottom entrance of the zoo. Directly opposite this entrance, there is the beginning of the walking track. Most of this track is through dense bushland and yet there are magnificent views of Sydney Harbour all along the way to Middlehead. This track is part of the Sydney Harbour National Park and it is managed by the National Parks and Wildlife Service. After a short walk, we arrive at Bradley's Head. Here there is a memorial to the light cruiser HMAS Sydney. The structure we see was a ship's foremast. Occasionally, we can spot lizards sunning themselves along the track. After Bradley's Head, we skirt around Taylor's Bay. This bay is home to a number of yachts. We arrive at Chowder Bay and the suburb of Clifton Gardens. At Chowder Bay, there's the restaurant called Ripples, as well as a kiosk in case you need refreshments. If you want to have a shorter walk, we can always catch a 228 bus from Clifton Gardens to Mosman and then another bus back to the city or we can walk a little further on and catch the 244 bus from Chowder Bay to Wynyard in the city. Although this walk is from Daronga to Middlehead, it is worth mentioning an alternative route which begins at Chowder's Bay. It climbs up to George's Heights before descending to Balmoral Beach. This track starts with a flight of steps next to the building housing the kiosk. There are lovely views from George's Heights right across the harbour. At George's Heights, take your time exploring the Headland Park, which is maintained by the Sydney Harbour Federation Trust. There are several artist studios here, as well as a restaurant. The Harbour Trust was able to negotiate a deal with the Navy to allow the building of steps all the way to Balmoral. From Taronga, it is possible to walk along the harbour foreshores all the way to Manly, but this walk is not to be taken lightly. Here is Taronga Zoo. Here is Middlehead. And way up there is Manly. If we continue from Chowder Bay to Middlehead, we pass Obelisk Beach, a quiet spot where nude bathing is permitted. 
At Middlehead, we can see way out to the ocean. Middlehead was fortified with gun emplacements in the 19th century, and it stood guard over the entrance to Sydney Harbour. The Middlehead Park is administered by the Sydney Harbour Federation Trust. Although the sea was calm on the day this clip was filmed, the waters at the heads can become very rough. The Manly Ferry can be tossed around by the huge swells surging through the heads. Sometimes the sea is so dangerous that the Manly Ferry service can be suspended. This walk can be as long or as short as you like. There are buses from Clifton Gardens, Charter Bay and Balmoral. 